Good evening and welcome back to Frugal Outdoors with myself Dylan and Nobby at the moment and I think James might be coming down as well. So this is my this is my Christmas special. This video will be coming out just before Christmas weekend or on the weekend of Christmas. Uh, so I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a very very happy new year. And don't forget it is customary that you all have to have at least two Brussels sprouts. But we're fishing tonight and I'm really really buzzing. We're down at Egypt Point, we're right on the light to Egypt Point which is the west side of Cowes. So as that river comes out into the Solent, we're on the west hand side of it. We've got some great lighting as you can see, We've got loads of natural light, well street light but it's natural light so we should be lit up a treat. I'm going to get some gear set up, Nobby's fishing with one rod, I'm probably going to fish with two but I'm going to get one set up, whack it out and then I'll get the other one set up and I'll probably play around with one. So one is going to be big baits and one is going to be scratching around to see if there's any whiting or something like that around. Yeah, let's get on it. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just setting up my bigger rod of the two. That's the one I want to just get out, get a big bait out there. I've got plenty of lead because it is, like I've said before, it is notoriously snaggy down here. So I've got something like nine, nine six ounce leads. If I go through those, then I'll be packing up and going home. I've got four spools, I've got two of my braid with a 50 pound on there. And then I've got, what have I got? I've got uh, two spools of 30 pounds straight through as well. So. If all else fails, then I'll go on to those, but at the moment I'm going to fish with the braid. Hopefully if I can get into a snag I'll be able to bend out a hook or two, but we'll see how it goes anyway. But let's get a rig on this one, get some bait on it, get it in the sea. So, I'm fishing with slightly, a slightly sh shorter pulley tonight. So that's probably only about 80 centimetres. And then that one there on my rig board, uh, on the actual snood, the hook length, is probably only about 70 centimeters and like I say and this is all 80 pound it's all nice and heavy because it is snaggy down there there are rocks there are going to be congas potentially congas there could be rays there could be a blonde ray it could be anything but this is the rig that I'm going to chuck out first so I can chuck a big bait get it out there and then I can chuck a little scratching rig out there to see if there's any whiting around see if there's any dogfish just stuff to keep me entertained really <laughs> I need fish to keep entertained Right, so I'm just quickly going to get this anchovy bait out on the pulley rig first. So I've just taken the tail off it, as you can see, and I've taken the head off it in between the gill plates and the eyes. And hopefully as that defrosts out in the sea, that will start releasing loads of scent, loads of juice, and hopefully entice something to come along and take it. And then what I'm going to do is cut a little strip from one of these uh, squids hopefully the same sort of length but if it's not exactly the same length it doesn't really matter so about the same sort of size and I'll just wrap that up the side it's somebody having a burnout is it that's a proper burnout now, it feels really big and clever right and finally not finally, I've only been, it's only been on order for a few days, but I've got the heavy uh, Baytex uh, elastic from Tronics Pro, but not elastic, it's uh, latex. And I've been excited to try the heavier one, because that medium one is totally doable and I've been using it, like I say, a good couple of months. But um, yeah, and this, this is heavy and it's still thinner than a lot of the, uh, the standard elastics that you buy anyway and I end up going through loads of them whereas this 
lasts an absolute age. So there we go. So I'm just binding, binding, binding all of that on. Look, lovely. Make that super neat. Now get it on this rig. Get it out. Uh, right. So I've only got the one reel on at the moment. So as you can see there, that is a Shimano. What is that? It's a Shimano Power Aero. That's what it is. Uh, and that is on my heavier rod. I was going right up to the tip there. Bit of glare. And there we go. There's the rig. And there is that bait. All nice. That's on a 3.0 Camazan uh, B940, I think they are. And then that's just got a 3.0 Octopus hook. Octopus, octopus beak hook in the top. I really struggle to say that. But let's get this out. And let's see if we can get a fish on the first cast for our Christmas special. Right then, see if we can lose, lose this one. <laughs> right, there we go, first one is out. I did the, uh, the, the silly thing of I forgot to tighten my spool up. And fortunately, like I say, it's got a leader on it anyway, but I have got a finger protector. So it hasn't gone massively far. And I was going to put a scratching rig on the other rod, but when I've got the reel on it, I am literally just going to put exactly the same rig on, the same bait, and whack that out as well, and then I'll just I'll switch them over later on. But at the moment, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as is. Yeah, maybe 80 yards, no idea. It didn't go very far, I know that. I felt it slip in my finger. Okie doke, right, so I'm going to do a similar bait, but this time I've got a whole bunch of small sand eels. It's a bolt bag as well, so there's probably 50 in there. I mean, I don't know, there's loads of them, but they're only tiny, really. I'll, I'll show you. There we go. So they're only really, really small. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to get, let's say, four of those bound together. And then I'm going to put a strip on the side of that, and then that will be my bait. But yeah, four of those together, I reckon. There we go. So I've actually used three. They're not too bad, but I'm trying not to whip it super, super tight. I mean, I've only had them out of the cool box for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And uh, they're very, very defrosted, so I've just stuck them straight back in the cool box. I've taken probably half a dozen out or more on the side, um, and I'll use those. Well, you can see there so I've got them on my tool so I can keep that nice and straight and then I'll stick a piece of squid down the side of it and chuck it out You're so underwhelming. <laughs> That's saying it. You're so underwhelming, didn't I? Thanks, mate. <laughs> well, there we go. Both rods are now in, so hopefully we can just get a bite. Any bite will do. Like I say, you know me, I'm not really that fussy about the quality of fish that I catch. It's just nice to catch something, really. Anything, as long as it's, you know, let's have a target in mind. Something over three pound, that would be nice. Three pound conger. But yeah, hopefully, like I say, with those sort of baits, we can certainly have got a really good chance of pulling something decent out. And I'll get a scratching rig in a minute and just have, maybe have a little play. Maybe just on one rod and alternate between a bigger bait and a scratching rig and then just keep a big bait on the other rod all night. But it's stunning, it's super clear again. Wind's definitely up. We're not going to be fishing until mega late tonight. I think high tide is probably about 10, 11 o'clock maybe. But we'll be knocking it on head before 10 o'clock. So a good four hours worth of fishing. Hopefully will be enough to pull something out. I feel like I was getting a bite on the rod that's the higher one. 
Nobby doesn't think so, but I reckon there was definitely a bite on it. But I'm going to give it a while. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to bring them straight in. I'm going to give them a good half hour soak. They're both really, really strong scented baits, so they might get nailed by the crabs. But I'm going to give them half an hour. I'm going to get a couple of baits ready. Get another couple of rigs ready. And then, yeah, just keep your fingers crossed, really. Right, quickly, I'm just going to get another, I've got another rig baited for the bigger rod, but I am now going to get this scratching rig, so I am going to alternate with a scratcher. Just a little two hook one, super, super short snoods on this, as you can see there, but they're literally six, seven inches, so they're really, really short. And that's got, I believe, it's a size 1.0 semi-circle hook. Really like those hooks, they're really nice. So it's a really super short, simple rig. I have got um, some glowy beads on there, but it's only tied with knots. I am expecting to lose one or two rigs tonight, so <laughs> the least amount of expense that I can lose in the sea, the better. Yeah, that one on the right hand side, it's been out there for a good half an hour now, so I am going to bring that in, freshen the bait up, just so I can have a look, see what sort of condition the bait's in, see if there's any crab activity, see if I can get it back for a start. Like I said, I didn't get a very good cast on my first cast. So yeah, let's see if we can get it back. There we go. I thought I was getting a bite on it as well. Left it out there. Little dogfish. First cast. Happy days. We got ourselves a Christmas fish. Whoa, just reeled in my second rod. <laughs> Lost my lead. But it's come, somehow it's come out of that clip. It's hard enough for me to put the leads in and, and get them out of this clip myself. But yeah, somehow it's come out. But there we go. He's got the rig back, so. It was reeling, reeling, reeling like mad. And then uh, it just locked up. And I give it a good pull. And uh, yeah, popped out. But I need to get another lead on there. Get this one baited again. Get the scratching rig out. Hopefully, see if there's a whiting or two about. There we go, so I've just whacked off a, a fillet of that anchovy just to make the bait a little bit smaller and it will also make it go a little bit further, well in distance and being a bit more frugal with the bait as well. So it means I get two baits out of an anchovy rather than one. So I've just bound a bit of squid on the side and we'll chuck that out as well. But yeah, that first dogfish was on the, um, that was on the anchovy. Nothing on the uh, sand eel and squid wrap, but I'd say they're not the best sand eels. I just dug them out of the freezer thinking, well, one to use them up, but obviously, hopefully, it's target a rain. Because yeah, it's still frozen, I didn't really need to use my bait at all. There we go, nice little bait. mate unwind it merry christmas snap <laughs> is it in the water yet mate <laughs>
Right, so we are about two hours in now. Still only the dog fish for me. Nobby's had a pouting. And at the moment, Ben and James haven't yet had a fish, but they're all fishing with one rod. I'm fishing with two. And I have just lost a leader. So I'm now fishing with 30 pounds straight through on one rod. And I've got my braid with the leader on the rod. I hate leaving the leader out there. It's not the retying of the leader, it's the fact that I'm leaving it in the sea. It really, really, really grates on me. So. Uh, which is why I've got the 30 pounds and I should have just put it on straight away but never mind so I've lost one rig hopefully won't lose another one basically I'm having to stand on the wall and just crank it crank it in as hard as I can I'm getting in quite way and then I'm hitting a ledge so nobody's telling me there's two ledges out there and it's the other one it's the closer one in that I'm hitting but yeah we'll keep going I think we're going to be fishing for maybe another hour and a half-ish. I'd like to try and get something else out. I've stopped fishing with a scratching rig at the moment, but I will probably chuck it out again. It was a scratching rig that I lost, so I probably will chuck another one out in a minute. I've got two pulleys out there at the moment. One with sand eel and squid wrap, one with a fillet of anchovy and squid wrap. And I've got another fillet of anchovy and squid hanging on my tripod ready to go out. And then I'll have a little think trying to, so we can try and get someone else out. Just missed a decent bite there. Quite an erratic bite, and then it just went super, super slack, and I could just see the line just drop down, just reeled in, and there's absolutely nothing there. Didn't even get a bite or anything at all. Didn't hook into anything at all. So I've just chucked out exactly the same bait because that was on the anchovy fillet that was. So I'm going to do exactly the same now. I'm going to put another one on that uh, that rig I just pulled out, anchovy again. Hopefully we can get another bite. Might have just been a dogfish or something. It could have been a conga, could have been anything, but whatever it was, I didn't hook into it. There we go, just quickly show you. That's the next bait that's going out. So that's an anchovy fillet. So basically half an anchovy then. Rather than cutting it in half, I'm taking the fillets off just to make the baits a little bit narrower. And then uh, that's got a piece of squid just wrapped up the side, exactly the same length, pretty much the same size, bound together. And then that's got a 3.0 uh, what is that? 3 0 Camazan B940, I think they are. And then the octopus beak hook, there's the panel. But yeah, I'm gutted. Because it definitely slacklined me. But yeah, hopefully we can, well, just try and target whatever it was. It might have just been a dogfish, it could have just been a small conger, it could have been a pouting or a whiting. But I don't know, I like to think it was something a bit bigger. Well, that's nice to see. James has just pulled out a decent conga. I would have thought it's got to be around the £8 mark. I've, I mean, I thought it was a double, but Nobby said no, so maybe £8. I'll find out in a minute. But it's nice to see something decent come out, so it gives everyone a little bit of a cheer up. I've got pretty fresh baits out there now, so... Hopefully, one of my rods will go over. Oh, well, it's nine o'clock. We haven't got long. Hopefully we can pull something out. Let me move that. It's my other torch shining up and it just blurs the screen. Blurs the lens, rather. But yeah, nine o'clock. I'm going to give it another 45 minutes. Got one baited rig ready to go. I'm not going to bother with a scratch rig. I've tried it the once. I'm just going to fish big now. Hopefully we can pull something else out. But yeah, I don't know. The baits are in the water. That's all we can do is try. Oh, 
And after all, you're my wonder wall. Do 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 do. Ah. I like to have a bit of fun when I'm fishing. Really Nothing really. worse than being a miserable bugger, is there, mate? Eh? No, there's not. The tide's changed direction, isn't it? The tide's changing direction. Yeah, because it's just started to rip line off. Oh, really? Yeah. Literally, just as I picked my rods up to start bringing them in anyway. Dogfish in the ocean, I think. <laughs> I did catch it. I did catch the smallest one in the ocean. Boom! <laughs> hey, we got a second fish, and it is the smallest dogfish in the Solent right now. But it's another fish. I'm going to pack that one rod down. As soon as I've packed that one in, I'm going to bring the other one in, see if there's anything on there. But yeah, not a total washout. Two dogfish, so not the best session. But well, it could have gone, could have gone worse. Could have blanked, couldn't I, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's the cue for that big blondie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. Put, put me to shame now. <laughs> come on. Make me eat those words. Yeah, come on. <laughs> right, so we're all done, all packed up. Uh, it's a bit of a slow session, to be honest. James popped down and needed far better than everybody else pulling out a decent sized conga I had two dogfish Ben how did you do Ben? Fantastic <laughs> best night I've ever had <laughs> thanks for everyone uh, but yeah just want to wish you all a very very Merry Christmas hope you have a really good one and uh, what's it now till the next one please take care stay safe maybe see you out there <laughs> that is wicked <laughs>'d caned my knee on that let's hang on let's clean this screen shall we now I was feel like I was getting a, a, a bite on the rod that would be the one on the yeah see ideally that's the way you want to be casting out that way. Yeah, well, I did a bit. No, you didn't. I did. <laughs> yeah, same as you, mate. Same as you. It's straight, mate. No, it ain't. Yeah. I'm. I'm pretty sure I heard you say, "Yeah, mate." Yeah, but that tide's tanking. Round. I'm. I've gone right round to the right. Yeah, come back though. Look at now. Oh.